Hello friends, we welcome you all to this video. If you remember, in the previous video, we studied the surface area of a right circular cone. Now, in this video, are you ready to look at an interesting example based on the surface area of right circular cone? Let's begin. Look Manas, it seems there is going to be a circus coming up here. <laughs> yes Thomas, I like the circus very much. See how huge this circus tent is. I wonder how much cloth they must have used to make this tent. Haha, <laughs> it's very easy to know. We can also find it out by mathematics. <laughs> oh wow, that means it's math time. Look at the tent, Manas. Can you tell me what shape is this tent? Hmm, the tent looks like a cone. So, it's conical in shape. You're absolutely right. And because this tent only uses fabric to create this curved surface, we can say that the fabric used in the tent will be equal to the curved surface area of the tent. Good I remember the formula of the curved surface area of a cone. The curved surface area of a cone is equal to the product of pi, r and l, where r and l are the radius of the base and the slant height of the cone respectively. We can find the radius of the base of the tent by measuring from the center of the floor of the tent till the boundary of the tent. But tell me Thomas, how do we find the slant height of the tent? Don't worry, that is also very easy. Don't you remember that we can find the slant height of the cone by writing the measurements of the radius of its base R and the vertical height H of the tent in this formula. Oh yes, and the height of the tent is equal to the height of the bamboo. Let me quickly measure the radius of the base of the tent and you measure the height of this bamboo. The radius of the base of the tent is 24 meters and its height is 10 meters. Okay, let me quickly solve this problem by writing these values in this formula instead of R and H respectively. Look Thomas, the oblique or slant height of the tent is 26 meters. Hey wow Manas, let us now use the radius of the base of the tent 24 meters and its slant height of the cone 26 meters that we just found in the formula for the curved surface area of this cone instead of R and L respectively. Let's see what we get. I got it! The curved surface area of the tent is 1961.14 square meters. This means that this tent is built using 1961.14 square meters of cloth. Wow! So much cloth was used in making this. No wonder it is so huge. Now let us return to our world. The circus is just about to begin and we don't want to miss it. The two friends together enjoyed the circus very much and returned home happily. With this example, we have seen how some of our daily life problems can be solved based on the surface area of a right circular cone. In the next video, we will see some more interesting examples based on this.